Hi everybody, this is Manda Arpita. So this is my jQuery experiment. So this is very simple. I have a table over here. This is my table and I have about six table rows and three, six, nine table data along with the image. And I have some buttons over here due to which this will affect. So the first button is hide. When I hit on hide, the table is getting hide, hidden. When I click on show, the table is shown. When I click on toggle, if it is showing, it gets hidden and now it is hiding. So when I click toggle, now it shows up. So for this, the code would be, I'm going to create button. The ID of my button is going to be hide. So dollar document dot ready function. So this is when the document is ready. And after that, I say dollar and this is the ID of my button. And I say dot click when this button is clicked, then this function is enabled. Then the function says dollar table. That means the table should be hidden with thousand millisecond speed. So that is what is happening. So as you can see, there is a slight effect of uh, hiding up. So that is what happens. So the next thing we have is alert. So we have seen till toggle. After toggle, we have something called as alert. So when I click on the alert button, I get a and I get an alert. So the alert says, I say when I click on the alert button, when the function is clicked, you have to display this alert message. So again, I have two functions called as slide up and slide down. And toggle gives me the vice versa of whatever it is. So coming here, we just have to put up slide up with U capital, slide down with D capital, for the, uh, the sliding up and sliding down and for slide toggle we need to write slide toggle with t capital and here in the brackets i'm going to write slow so that it slowly disappears and otherwise you can just leave the bracket alone like that otherwise you can mention the seconds which i've mentioned like this milliseconds so once that is done we have fade in fade out fade in is it fades out as you can see yeah that faded out so there's a particular time for it so within that time it's going to fade in so it's already in, right? So I'm saying fade out, so it's out. When I say fade in, it appears. So the code is going to be fade in and fade out. Let me just, okay, that is fine. And after that, we have something called as animate. This is my uh, box, a diff, which is of width and height, and it is of color gray. And it will be aligned to 250 pixels from the left when I click on the button animate. So that is what happened. So to do that, I have a button called animate. And when I click that button, there is a div with width and height, which I've told you already. And dot animate is the function, and it is moving to the left with 250 pixels. And once that is done, I have something called as append. So here I have a paragraph called as this is. So my name is Manda Arpita. So I want to append that text. So what do I do? On clicking the button append, on clicking the button append, the paragraph which I have, it's going to append with this. And there's a B tag that means the appending is going to be in bold. So I click on append. So you can see this is Manda Arpita. And once that is done, there is something, there's a button called background CSS. When I click on this, the table's color is going to change. So for that, I just say dollar BG, that is the name of my button. When it is clicked, then the table dot CSS. So that means whatever I write inside this is going to be a CSS thing. So I say background color is equal to this thing, which is a basic CSS. Once that is done, I have click here to slide the panel. So I'm clicking on this panel. So it is slowly getting up here. Meanwhile, I say stop sliding. So the slot is sliding gets stopped. So that is how it works. And looking at the code, this is going to be very easy. It's like this. You're going to say CSS background. And this is my panel styling. And this is my panel flip styling. And I have a panel flip button over there. Thanks for watching.